friends, buddies, pals, how you doing? Welcome back to another video. So this one, I don't even know if this is gonna make a video. Um, I'm on a bit of a exploratory. I've known about this stream for years and years and years. And I kind of feel like maybe a long time ago, I looked in here like half-heartedly once, but I can't really remember. I don't even know if there's fish in here, but just for the last, I don't know, couple of weeks, it's just kind of been like in the back of my mind it's been bugging me, you know, to come in and have a look. So that's what I'm doing today. Yesterday I was out with Jared. We drove around all afternoon, checked out three different rivers, and I caught one fish about four inches long. There we go. We do have small fish in New Zealand. It's a bit of a bust, but we did find some water we'll go back to and check out when the water flow is lower and it's a bit more summery. You know, what you guys don't see is a lot of that kind of stuff, just days spent driving around, just trying to find access, looking in rivers, walking a lot, and just not really seeing much. So it's all part of the game, and that's what today is about, really. I mean, I don't expect to even put my rod together today. If I see a fish, that's a win, a total win, because I'm not expecting it. We're gonna put in some caves today, and we're gonna find out once and for all whether or not there's fish in the stream, and whether or not it's worth the huge amount of effort it's going to be to come in here. It's going to be a brutal day, but let's answer the question because you know what they say, if you don't go, you don't know. I mean, that's some wicked looking water right there. That can totally hold fish. She is tough going. That water is delicious. Oh. There's a lot of this kind of stuff. It's not great for getting around in, and it's not great for fish to be hanging out in. Lots of this between not much holding water so far. A couple of nice looking bits of water, but they're real high up in the system, and I just don't know. two hours in and I've seen some nice water like definitely good enough to hold fish and I just haven't seen anything nothing we're gonna keep pushing for a bit longer I mean it's still only 10 30 so I mean I could probably keep going down there till you know 12 and uh, just see I don't know I've got to start seeing some fish soon man otherwise you know what am I doing where are they maybe they're just not up this high I mean there's more good water here and just perfectly good enough to have a fish in it. I just don't know. I don't know. Man, look at all this deer sign. This is a good little spot for a deer. I mean, this is just the most amazing piece of water yet. That's just in my, it's kind of worrying that I haven't seen anything in here because if there's fish in this part of the river, they will be here. Check it out again on the way up when there's been some sun on the water for a bit, but I would have thought I would have seen something in there. Yo, I mean look at that for a pool. That is just perfect. I just don't know. I mean obviously I can't see everything in there, but surely you'd think if there's fish in this river they would be in there. I mean, spectacular water. Man, I don't know. 
I'm going downstream a long time now. And uh, I haven't seen anything to make me want to keep going, to be honest. I will push a bit further down, but yeah, I'm pretty much ready to have a snack and think about walk just walking back up. I think this is a bus, people. I think it's a bus. Dude, I've just hit a fish and it's feeding. Oh, look at this pool. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, where's he gone? Oh, he's up there now. Okay, I'm gonna set up and then I'm gonna try to catch this fish. I actually can't believe to see the fish. Um, so I'm going to run you real quick through what I'm going to oh, do for this guy. I can't see him at the moment, but he, he was definitely there a second ago and he was feeding real well. Could be the only shot of the day. Uh, I've walked a long way to find this fish. So I'm going to run Papa Smurf here. It's the Helios 3 5 weight D. Mirage LT size 2 burnt orange reel and then on there I've got scientific anglers you know what it is it's a scientific anglers amplitude infinity smooth camo in a five weight I really like to see that fish again so attached to the end of my fly line I've got a uh, seven foot floating poly leader from Orvis down to a tippet ring and I'll just lengthen my leader that I've got built off of that got about six feet of 3x seven plus six it's 13 I'm going to add on at least four feet, maybe five feet of 4x, then that'll make it 17, 18 feet to my first fly. I'll probably go a dry dropper if he's still where he was. Oh, just seen him again. Just dropped back a bit. So he's still around. Put a size 12 parachute style fly on. We'll go double Davy knot off the bend of the dry fly with some more 4x. But we're going to go like quite long. Three, three feet, you should see it. And then I want to go one of these new flies from Cat 3. It's a size 16. I think it's called a I think it's called a pheasant tail south side. Uh, it's real small. It's subtle. I like it. Again, double Davy for the nymph. Crushed a barb. Barb's already crushed. Okay, so I don't know if you can see this, but we've got uh, this is a size 12 parachute style fly. We've got about three feet down to a size 16 south side from Cat 3. Just put a little bit of lube on this guy and we're ready to go. Just need this one fish guys and the day is a success. Okay, there's actually two fish here. Uh, one of them's dropped down below me and the other guy has moved up. He was kind of just out there in front of me a second ago. Should see it coming over. No, he's not. Might have been a bit short. Should have seen it though. Oh, there's a small fish at the back. Oh, no, not the one I was after. Oh, mate. Little party crasher. <laughs> Man, wow, 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 wow. See if I can keep it down here and get him in pretty quickly. And I might still get a shot. I don't know. I'm sure I can see that guy I wasn't fishing to up there. Oh, I know he's coming back down. He's going to find out. He's going to see what's going on. Come on. Man, strong fish. Really strong. Giving you some stick too, aren't I? There we go. Oh. Just a little tacker, but full of fight. I'm going to get him straight back. Wow, that guy just crashed the party completely, but hey, we didn't get skunked. And we've seen two other fish, so, you know, pretty sure that's toast now. But, um, whatever, we'll whatever we'll little look and fit further up and see if we can see one of those other fish and then we'll, uh, we'll have some lunch because it's 12 o'clock. So I got one of those other bigger fish to come over. He looked at my fly and then didn't eat it. See that? 
It's right on his face though. It's coming over. Had a look. Refused it. Damn it. And I haven't seen him again since, so I think I think he's on to me. Which is fair enough, especially because that, that little fish that crashed the party did tear up the pool a little bit. It's the way it goes. But I'm uh, yeah, I'm pretty hungry, so I'm gonna eat some food. Then I'll drop down uh, just a couple more pools. If there's fish here, there should be fish below. Um, and I'll just see what I see, see what I find, and then we'll go from there. It's gonna take me a good, probably, three and a half, four hours to, to get back up to the truck. Good old cheese and salami. It's been at the bottom of my bag for like two days now. It's a bit sweaty, but I'm pretty hungry. So, we'll make it work. I'm trying really hard not to think about the walk back. It's gonna suck. It's really gonna suck. Don't mind me, guys. Just looking for a fish. Gotta be one in there. Gotta be. Oh, what's that? That looks fishy. Is that fish? Is that fishy? Is that moving? Come on, give me a window. Aha! Yep, go on. Got one. All right. Guys, don't mess this up for me. All right, I'm gonna change over to a nymph. We're gonna go 101, something small off the back of that indicator. And I could really do with those two just drifting off downstream, because like, they're very close to this fish. And I feel like when I go in there to cast, they're just gonna ruin the show. But we'll see. I'm gonna go about maybe four foot deep. Should be enough. That's good. Right on line for him. Right there. I know you saw that. That's it, I had my shot at my fish across the other side of there and that's all I could find and see in this beautiful piece of water but I think that was it. I really felt like I should have gotten to eat from that fish but I don't know, maybe it was drag, maybe it was just, I don't know, something. So that's it, it's quarter past one, I've got at least four hours back to the truck. Um, so I'm just gonna put the rod away and just walk back up. If I happen to see anything in any of those pools I've already walked down past, I'll set back up, but it's gonna be better for me just to pack everything away and not have a rod to deal with. Anyway, I'm gonna uh, yeah, break this rod down, have a little snack, and then start plodding back. Not looking forward to it, I'm not gonna lie. Fish is back, or oh, it's still out there. There he is. Oh, so I just set back up. Come on, there's big boulders over there. Come on now. Come on. So I set back up, just, just to try and get him. And I got him. Oh. So I've wrapped up a little bit, I think. Yeah, he's himself wrapped around the belly, maybe, which is not gonna make this easy. I can't go downstream. He's a big fish. Oh no, come on. Either be good, or come unwrapped.
Be good. Be good. Come on, wraps. Just trying to. Oh. This is all I can do unless he comes un. Come on. Un un unwrap. Un un come on. Come back, come back, come back. No. Gonna lose him. There's no way I'm landing this fish. No way. Beautiful fish. Oh. Oh. And it hooks out in the net. Oh. Mate, you are stunning. Gotcha. Oh. Okay. I'm massively out of breath. Because I didn't want to release her in those rapids. So it's just taking me ages to bring her back up into the tail of the pool I hooked her in. Putting her in the water every couple of meters, letting her breathe, letting her recover. Then slowly working my way back up here, so I'm knackered. But, day mate. Just the prettiest fish. Come on, lady. Look at that. I mean, that's just stunning. Oh. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Alright lady. Ah. Ah. Oh. Man, I can't tell you how happy I am I bothered to put the rod back together. Just walking past, just looked one more time up that edge and she was back where I saw her before. I was like, nah, do I, don't I, can't be bothered, and I'm just, I'm real glad I did. And I think what the thing was before, I don't think I was heavy enough to get down to her. I just wasn't seeing my flies, because there's actually a lot deeper in there than it looked. Went with a heavier fly, first drift, or second drift, something like that anyway. And uh, yeah, that was good. And then she got wrapped, and then she ended up going down to those rapids there, and that goes on for miles. So I just did not think I was going to hang on to a fish like that wrapped up in those rapids with all those boulders but the absolute supreme tippet is tough stuff i'll give you that oh man i'm i'm knackered mission accomplished day made okay i'm gonna pack all this away again have another drink and get out of here i'll catch up with you guys back at the truck
back of the truck just, I'm in pieces, man. And that was such a long hike back. It's like a 13 kilometer day, but all just scrambly, horrible stuff. Anyway, I'm gonna get changed because I need to get out of these clothes and into something a bit more comfortable. Hang on a second. Oh, that's better. Cheers. Oh, that is not, that is not cold. Uh, it's quite warm. I mean, I guess it was a pretty successful day. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I didn't expect to see anything today. I didn't even expect to put my rod together. So, I mean, in that respect, it was a pretty good day. I ended up seeing five fish and I caught two of them. That little party crasher. Then in the same pool, there were two other fish. One of them that came over to look at my fly, but didn't eat and then disappeared. And then that really good fish I got at the end that really saved the day. Now I did actually see one other fish on my way back up, but by the time I rigged up, it kind of melted away. So, so really, I mean, I guess it was a pretty successful day. Would I come back here? Probably not. It's just, it's just too much effort for the reward. Like the amount of effort you've got to put in to get potentially one fish out of there is it's just too much it's just too much man i'm broken <laughs> i am broken probably about 13 and a half kilometers ish and that's all in the river slipping scrambling big boulders bush bashing river crossings like that's brutal like i said at the beginning of the day all i wanted to do was come away from this knowing what's down there and now i do so box ticked beautiful day great weather amazing place great scenery saw a heap of pheo which are our blue ducks which is really cool to see and i even caught a couple of fish you know it's so easy to go onto instagram or facebook or youtube and you know just see lots of fish getting caught people having a great time and you know it's easy to think that you know that's what happens every time you go out and it's just not so i think it's important to show the other side of it too you know the days like this where you're walking a lot you're not seeing much sometimes you see nothing at all the blanks, the struggles, the places you go where you just don't find anything, you know, there, there's a lot of that behind every video or picture that you see of me with a fish. And that's all part of it. That's all part of the adventure, the exploring, the looking around, the not knowing, the working it out, you know, putting the work in. So then when you do come across a good river or you have a great day on the water and you catch a bunch of fish, it's so much sweeter because you've put the hard work in and you've earned them. And I think that's important. I think that's an important thing to do and it's all part of the big adventure of fishing. Anyway, I'm going to finish this delicious warm beer and get out of here, go home, have a shower, probably lie on the bed and stare at the ceiling. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoy this one guys. Give me a thumbs up, drop me a comment in the comment section below, all that great stuff. Have a great weekend. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.